Well, former President Donald Trump releasing a statement this morning about the people of Serbia and Kosio that have overcome a tremendous number of obstacles in their pursuit of economic stability. Trump continues to tout his agreements brokered in historic achievement and says they should not be abandoned. And today, Ambassador Rick Grinnell visited the Kosovo-Serbia border to highlight this important agreement. Joining us now is the Ambassador. Rick, thanks so much for joining us today. So what can you tell us? Thanks for having me, Allison. Well, I'm calling you now from uh, Belgrade, Serbia. I today, this morning, uh, in Balkan time, local time, uh, visited the Kosovo-Serbia border. I started the press conference by making it very clear that um, I am not in, US, in the U.S. government anymore, that I'm a private citizen, but that we private citizens are concerned about the fact that four economic normalization agreements that Donald Trump had, Trump's administration negotiated are not being implemented. And we pushed the people uh, of Kosovo and the people of Serbia to uh, work hard to implement these agreements through their government. And as you know, these are historic agreements that uh, President Trump was able to forge. And he did it by rejecting kind of politics of old and looking at how do we figure out economic development and jobs for uh, people in the region. Instead of talking about politics, how do you develop the economy? That was a winning combination. I think it's very consistent with what Donald Trump does in the United States, which is reject kind of all this politics of Washington, D.C. and roll up your sleeves and get things done. So a man of action and certainly was a man of action in, in the Balkans when he was president. And I, as his former uh, presidential envoy for the, for the Serbia-Kosovo issue, was proud to be able to implement these agreements. And we continue to call upon the people in, in the region to implement uh, some of these economic agreements. I'll give you one that's really exciting, which was we were able to negotiate a first-ever flight between Pristina, Kosovo, in Belgrade, Serbia, a direct flight. Right now, uh, there is no direct flight. And economic development between the two countries in the, in the region really is very difficult. Rick, why do you think that these agreements are not being implemented now with the Biden administration? It's such a good question. Um, and I think that it, there's a simple answer, and that's American leadership. You know, I spent eight years at the U.N., and I can tell you that the U.N. certainly does not function without U.S. leadership. And the world looks to U.S. leadership. And that doesn't mean sending boots on the ground. Uh, it means that you have to uh, have diplomacy with muscle. You have to be able to, instead of just talking about stuff, you have to be able to do stuff. And I think that's what Donald Trump taught us all is cut through the rhetoric cut through the bureaucracy, and get stuff done. What we're seeing right now with the Biden administration is um, a lot of talk or uh, statements that are issued, but not a lot of action. And that message that is sent is that they just don't have a handle on the issues, and it's not a priority for them to push through these economic agreements. Yeah, Rick, I think you're right. With President Trump, he would say something and then he would get it done. Uh, I really, we really appreciate your time and your insight. Keep us posted on everything that's going on. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.